Kwan Kwan. Welcome to Learning Words with Pictures, episode number ten. On the screen are the two Chinese characters we're gonna learn today. They are Zhi and Ye. Before we start, I just want to say, if you haven't watched the previous episodes. There are links down below, and you'll be able to view them at any time. Okay, let's start today's lesson. Today's first word is zhi, zhi, zhi. This is a special syllable, and you can review it in the Pinyin episode number sixteen. Now, let's see the pictures. Picture time. Here is the first Chinese character, Zhi. It's a picture of the sun. I'm not sure it's sunrise or sunset. Sometimes, um, they look the same. But one thing we could be sure is that. This Chinese character has something to do with the sun. 和太阳有关系 Let's see another picture. 再看一张图片 This is a sun as well. I think we all know the definitions of this Chinese character, right? The definition is the sun, 太阳 I'm going to trace the pictures, and you'll be able to see the connections. A circle represents the sun. That makes sense. But why is there a line in the middle? My thinking is a circle is too simple. That line. So the person who created this character decides to add a cloud in the middle. After some time, people thought drawing a nice and round circle is pretty hard. Then they decided to draw a rectangle instead. That's simply my hypothesis. 只是我的假想 It helps me remember the word. How do you think about the line in the middle? What else it could be? Please share your comments. Anyhow, this character evolved from a circle to rectangle. But if you want to draw a circle instead of writing as a rectangle. I have no problem at all. <laughs> oh, please know something important. There is another important meaning about zhi, which happened to be the same as the Chinese character tian that we learned before. This Chinese character zhi also means. The unit of time, day. Please remember this important definition as well. We'll review its different definitions in our practicing session. 打铁趁热 striking the iron while it's still hot. Let's learn the writing order together. First. It's one vertical line. The second stroke starts as one horizontal line, extends the line, and turns a corner down. The third stroke is the cloud in the middle. The final stroke is one horizontal line to close up the rectangle. One more time. You can always practice after watching our videos. 
so you will remember these interesting Chinese characters forever. Ah, let's learn the next word. A new picture. The second Chinese character is Yue. It's a picture of the moon, a crescent moon. This Chinese character must be related to the moon. 和月亮有关系 How about this illustration? This is also a moon. I think we all know the definition of this Chinese character, right? The definition is the moon. 月月亮 Other than the definition of moon, there's another important meaning about Yue. This Chinese character also means the unit of time, month. Please remember this important definition as well. Tracing time, a new moon. Smiling moon. There are many craters on the moon. Use two short lines to represent craters. Did you see it? The shape of Yue has appeared, magically appeared. Cool, right? Let's work on its writing sequence. First, write a curve from top to bottom. Then, this is new. We've never written this stroke before. It's similar to the second stroke of 日 but slightly different. Starts as one horizontal line and extends the line. Then, turns a corner down. Keep in mind, the line extends longer than the horizontal line. The two craters are represented as two lines. You can pause this video to practice a few more times. Okay, we finished learning the two Chinese characters. It's time to practice. With some phrases and sentences. First, take a look at this sentence. 日上三竿，日上三竿。日 over here means sun. 上 means up above. 三 is three. 竿 is Bamboo pole. The height of the sun has risen above three bamboo poles. Sometimes my mom would say this idiom to me. Not very often. Just sometimes when I get、uh, too late for school. Ah, yes. Next. This is the perfect idiom to describe a lazy woman, isn't it? The next phrase is 月下老人。月下老人。月 over here means moon. 下 is under, below. 老 is old. 人 means person. 老人 means elder people. 月下老人 is a mythical deity. Legend has it that he appears under the moonlight and oversees the work of men and women parents. Next, let's practice the usage of. 日
as a day unit. Day. 一日三餐，一日三餐。E is one. 日 over here means day. 三 is three. 餐 means meal. Eat three meals a day. 每天吃三顿饭。一日三餐，定时定量。Eat three meals properly and on time. Don't eat too many crackers. Let's continue practicing. This time we'll practice 月 as the unit of time, month. 三月。有三十一天，三月有三十一天。三月 is the month of March. 有 means has or have. 三十 is thirty. 一 is one. We learned that in episode number one. Tian over here means day as the unit of time. The month of March has thirty-one days. How do you like today's lesson? Please constantly review what we have learned so far. Thank you for your support. 